Thanks for joining us at 10. Affordable Towing shut down its operations this fall after the owner went to prison for violating the Clean Air Act. But the company's lots have remained busy, but not by design. Police or firefighters have been called out to two affordable towing properties more than 20 times over the past six months, mostly for issues caused by trespassers. Color 10's Parker Paget is live in Springfield. After diving into the numbers, he's explaining what the city can and can't do about it. Yeah, between November 2nd and last Monday, first responders answered 21 calls to these properties. The city says since the properties haven't been deemed vacant, there's not much they can do at this point. There's not a crime in having a vacant property. Springfield police have been busy since news broke that affordable towing would stop running trucks in November. Data provided by SPD shows at its headquarters on Florida Street, police responded to seven calls between November 7th and November 29th. Those calls range from checking a vehicle, burglary, trespassing to a deceased person. Affordable Towing's other property, a lot on West Division, has seen more calls, 14 over the last six weeks. Those calls include multiple burglaries, trespassing, fires, and stealing. I spoke to a neighbor off camera who tells me he's seen people come and go at night from the division property and says it rarely stops. The 911 calls are taken, by, taken care of by the police department um, and if it becomes a continuous problem we will step in and eventually if it's open we will board up the building. Brock Rowe with the City of Springfield says there's steps that have to be followed before they intervene. Once it's complained about enough and it comes to our through our uh, Citizens Resource Center and it's, a, it's called an SQ, uh, well, yeah, a service request is, is created, um, we will go check it out, our inspectors will, and if there is a violation based on the 13 things that are outlined in Chapter 26, we will post the property and then we will move forward with what, whatever action we need to do on that. Those violations include poor maintenance, significant damage by fire or wind, or if a structure is deemed uninhabitable. We will start the course of, of trying to abate that, working with the owner, trying to figure out a solution to take care of that property so that it doesn't happen again. Um, it's not, I don't, the property's not a, a dangerous property. It's not a blighted property. It's only being, it's just people are breaking into it. That's the only issue right now. I spoke to a representative for affordable Tony towing on the phone this afternoon for a response to this story and I was told no comment. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.